What would you have if you mixed forts with sinking ship simulator? Well, I think you'd get this game, Ships of War. Now, currently it's in a very, very early alpha. Now this is pretty cool. If we were to go to battle, we get to pick what ship we want to control and what ship the enemy is going to control. And there are a wide number of options that are already just like present, right? Like we could use an aircraft carrier and presumably launch aircraft. We've got some destroyers, cruisers, battleships. You even have ships like merchant class ships, which are in my honest opinion, they're just U-boat targets. Free real estate. So there's a wide number, but then there's also like the ones that you can download from the workshop. So let's use, where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? If we put like what? HMS hood versus the Bismarck, that would be interesting. If I remember correctly, the Bismarck just like, I mean, if, if you play like World of Tanks or World of Warships, it's essentially ammo racking the enemy ship. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, the, the hood doesn't have very good memories of the Bismarck from the Battle of the Denmark Strait. So here she is, okay. Oh, now as we're a battleship, we've got like two main sections of guns. We can fire the rearmost guns. Oh, wow. I don't think I should have fired them. And look at this. I'm gonna aim for here. And there's my first salvo. Now, I wonder, oh, we did we get critically hit? Or did they hit us critically? Because essentially, the battle's just like hot and fast right now. And we're doing damage. Now we can't see inside the enemy ship. We can only in see inside of ours, which obviously makes sense. But you're gonna see a number of like hit indications, whether things hit armor, whether they're critical hits. Um, I'm gonna aim kind of more amidships because these turrets are like super strong, right? Look at that, they've got different health. Now we could try to disable their guns. And unfortunately, I don't think I can fire my rear guns, can I? Can I fire them that way? No, I can only fire them behind me, which does make sense. You can't maneuver your ship. But essentially, if you were like me and you're like, man, Ship Sinking Simulator was such a fun game. It was really, really cool to see like the physics of a ship getting destroyed critically and then sinking. Well, then you'd want to play this game. Now, it looks like I've got these little like 14 inch guns and 18 inch guns. Are those not my, how do I operate these things? That's what I want to figure out. Let's see. Now I'm not entirely sure how to repair just yet. Anti-aircraft guns, like I guess if they were. Oh, and these guys are automatically firing, aren't they? Because of where I directed them to shoot. And the secondaries are firing. Okay, so my 18 inch batteries and my 14 inch batteries are all firing and trying to hit here. Now, do I have, oh, drain. Okay, we're doing good on steam pressure. There's no real flooding and oh my god, I, I actually could move. Let, let's uh, let's maneuver then. The ship is moving slowly but surely. That way they're gonna have to what? Alter their firing pattern? Will we also have to alter our firing pattern? Yeah, but in all of my experience playing World of Warships, I know. Oh, are we sinking? Or are we just moving real fast? What is yeah. this? We got stuff that's fallen off the ship, man. I don't know what was happening, but we rocked backwards and then we rocked, we're rocking a little forward. Look at this. Guess what all this is? Magazines, explosive. <laughs> critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. Oh, 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 hot biscuits, boys. Where the hood at? Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? What's the other lyrics for that song? Can you imagine that? A bunch of German sailors going out, just rocking DMX and singing, where's the hood at? Why they find the 18 inch? Yeah, the 18 inches. No, that is very big. Even in Germany, that is, uh, that is wunderbar. So the Fraulein say, um, now that my DMX tirade is over, but it will come back whenever we find the hood. Okay. Yeah, I guess like the ship looks like it's it's collapsing on itself. So what I'm going to do is concentrate all four firepower right on this little area. Man, I, whenever I say that, I just feel like I need one of those Imperial Naval uniforms, you know? And uh, you know what? The, like you said, like you guys just said, Sun Tzu said, DMX was hot in World War II, but he's hot in the, the Galactic Rebellion too, guys. All right, so it looks like the bottom part of the ship may have broken. I'm seeing little chunks sink. What is that? A boiler. <laughs> okay, so the boiler, which, uh, you know, boils the water to produce the steam to power the engines. But it looks like the hood is kaput. What I love about this is it's still firing. I don't think these guns should be able to fire if they're underwater, right? Now, how do I, how do I, I actually don't want to, uh, I don't want to hit it anymore. I just want to watch it sink. The enemy fought honorably, but you have won the battle. Uh, this is awesome. Okay, this game is everything I wanted it to be. Oh, 
Look at that. Where's the hood at? It is going down to the uh, t Titanic, yeah? It's not too soon, guys. It's been at least seven years, all right? Statute of limitations for bad jokes. Uncouth jokes. But look at this, man. Even armor plates kind of fall off. What happened? Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to ammo rack this ship and we're still firing and i don't know how to stop i would like i would like to learn how to stop my cannons they're very exciting whoa what is that any, any aircraft gun just like flopped off my ship okay this is just fantastic though so here we go let's see what other ships we have because i don't know how aircraft carriers work but guess what i'm gonna find out now by the way there's another element of this game which is the editor design build and test your ships i want to do another battle before i mix in with the editor though um and i'm fairly certain there's u-boats in here right i mean I, i've seen them i've seen it oh <laughs> the titanic is a battleship <laughs> doubt doubt i say i thought there may have been some u-boats at least on the steam page now as this is alpha it's possible that they just aren't there yet so we're gonna get the yorktown and we're gonna fight a destroyer we can have an aircraft carry battle we'll do that next we're gonna use the fletcher class now we can't use our terrible german accent oh shizzles how do we fire them planes boys all right i've got seven guns all right i fired one two three Tell me the planes take off! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, are those Corsairs? They kind of look like Corsairs. Do we have torpedo bombers or are they all just like fighter bombers? I eat fighter bombers. We are getting shrekt. Oh, I mean, is this, this is everything you want it to be. Oh, dude. I mean, I know they're shrekking us right now, but just wait till we get here. Now, oh, they fire torpedoes! Torpedoes in the water, torpedoes in the water. That's a very big torpedoes you have there, sir. Oh! <laughs> oh, they got problems, boys. All right. <laughs> I mean, this is physics. This may not be what you want physics to look like, but this is it. Okay, uh, we broke it. I'm very happy we broke it, though. So now they can't hit us. See, this is this is an ancient World War II strategy. Uh, Sun Tzu's The Art of World War II said, if you drop a bomb and make a destroyer go, Whoa! then it can't hit you. I'm pretty sure that's a direct quote. So this is incredible. Okay, we need a bigger target for our aircraft carrier. <laughs> the anti-aircraft guns are still shooting. Primary guns are no longer functional. The entire ship, I mean, oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? We fired, we fired primary batteries. You, that thing's operational. That's no moon, it's an aircraft carrier. All right, I mean, wait, where'd it go? Hello? There you are. Okay, so that's pretty freaking Awesome. What we need is the German Graf Zeppelin. Just to have some Stukas go, Nyeh! you know that Stuka siren. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know. I know I said I wanted to build one, but I, I, I mean, this is just too fun. Okay, we need a bigger target. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? No, 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 no. Let's do... Okay, so this one's... We need to give ourselves an advantage, an appreciable advantage. 338,000 for the HMS Illustrious. And like, so one thing to keep in mind is like, IJN is like Imperial Japanese Navy, right? USS is United States Service. But HMS is Hot Mango Syrup. So Hot Mango Syrup Illustrious versus the USS Yorktown. Actually, we are the Hot Mango Sauce Illustrious, old boy. Quite right, quite right. All right, we got Corsairs. Now, in the future, I'd love to have different types of planes. What you got, feller? All right, I'm gonna drop some there. I'm gonna drop some here, and I'm gonna drop some here. I'm only sending out three out of our six groups. Now, what would be also really, really cool, because this is alpha, right? So this is one of those things where, like, we're in the early part of development. We might help to influence its development, right? Uh, from building bot wars with all of your guys' ideas, that's what we've essentially been doing is like hey our community has like a bunch of fantastic ideas let's like use them oh okay we're getting wrecked but what's happening to them we are missing do they maneuver they might be maneuvering all right there we go we're finally getting some hits um how are we doing we're experiencing a little bit of flow <laughs> okay we uh, the flooding was low but that's because the part that's in the water is gone oh okay yeah well we got wrecked by the uh, hot mango sauce illustrious however we did do some work on them oh man i wonder if we're gonna have the distinguishment of like types of armor right and i guess we'd have to get in the building section here we go we may be sinking but they're sinking first all right that's not so illustrious is it old boy is it now it looks like control group six is completely gone now will the planes actually try to land i don't know how you try to land on half of an aircraft carrier what's that explosion oh just 
Oh, those were some detonations underwater. Maybe, here we go. I think what may have happened was if we go to our ship, the magazines, we may have actually detonated a magazine. Where did those explosions come from? Oh, they're still planes, that's why. So we lost half our ship. I'd say we did pretty well. <laughs> to still be floating. Is wildly impressive. All right, I'm curious about torpedoes. Oh, defeat to unlock. We get these Japanese ships if we defeat them. The Imperial Japanese Navy Junio and Agano. All right, well then what we'll do is we'll have a Liberty ship fighting a Fletcher. I love how they even have like <laughs> target practice ships. That's, here we go. Fire control group three is the torpedo. Are they maneuvering at all? All right, I fired the torpedo just generally. Oh, I see how it works. Maybe I should have aimed it better, but honestly, if it, oh, it's skipping. Fuck? It's skipping. It skipped on the water. And it blew up. Cool. Let's maneuver closer. Oh, that's cool. I think I can see where they're trying to maneuver. We're currently maneuver. All ahead full. Bosun. Is that, is that, am I doing it right, Navy boys? All right, we'll keep the mouse cursor here. It doesn't look like it's going. Drain. Oh, we have to drain. Somehow we flooded our ship, which is impressive i don't know how we did it maybe when i fired the torpedo oh, okay this is how i fired the torpedo okay so this is the sweet spot i think or maybe is that my last shot i'm gonna fire like this i'm hoping nope we're gonna skip bounce a little bit probably explode but i, I think the more that they experiment with air power and water power okay yeah maybe that's just the range of my torpedo drain flooding and steam pressure is still great is this really the way the structure looks like in a Fletcher class destroyer? That's really cool. Like how, you know, one boiler's a little higher and they're slanted, I guess. Destroyers were made to go fat. What if I fire the torpedo like this? A little down. Will it just keep going down? Or will it eventually curve up? I think the answer is it will keep going down. Here it is right here. And will it blow up right around here? Yeah. Okay. Bilge pumps. So th this is cool. This is where the three bilge pumps are. Yeah, I I think we might be experiencing what's known as an alpha issue. Is it a bug or a feature? Or the third possibility, does Bear not know what he's doing? It does happen. It does happen. We need another ship with torpedoes. Atlanta might have this torpedoes. I don't think it does. Um, where the hood, where the... You know what, we'll use the LP class destroyer. I want to use torpedoes. Yes, we got torpedoes and we're not draining automatically. All right, maneuver. We're moving. Look at look at the reference point of the mouse cursor right there. All ahead full, captain, all ahead full. Now, if you could have like some controls to like say, um at what speed you want to maneuver because like at full speed flank speed is it called you you can see how we're whoa rapid firing depth charges which control group is that fires the depth charges <laughs> hold on we got the uh volume bug again oh watch this oh watch this go boom Go boom! Uh, what, what depth? Uh, Bosun, what depth did we fire those depth charges at? Oh no, Captain. I just work here. Oh my god. Oh man. You you know those seismic charges that Django Fett used in the prequel movies? That's how I'm imagining these going. Boom! Right. Uh, Captain, we have a torpedo launcher and we've got rear depth charges, alright? We like them. Yeah. Fire them like fireworks, alright? I don't know where this accent comes from. It's definitely not. It's definitely not American. I'm not a spy, I promise. I'm just I'm just a captain. A, a YouTuber hopped up on caffeine who, who's got a, a, a bit of an affinity. A predilection, you might even say, to just to just talk in strange accents, because he finds it funny. And maybe when he was younger, you know, he, his parents never understood, and they said, he, "Boy, you need to stop being so weird." And he's like, "No." Nah. And they're like, "You need you need to stop playing video games." And, and he was like, "No, nah, I ain't gonna do that either." In fact, I think I'm gonna do it for me job. And that kind of turned Australian. But you know what they say. Leroy Jenkins, boys. Fire the torpedoes! Damn the torpedoes, man! That actually is not half bad. I mean, it's not half good, but it's definitely not half bad. We need a speed up move. All right, the torpedo range. We are not in range of torpedoes, sir. Oh, man, there's just something about, like, British accents in, like, naval officers. I don't care if you're in space, in the clouds, or on the water, man. That's my score, Papa. The British accent is superior, all right? Unless you can say, hi there. No, no, can't do it. Torpedo launcher. Fire again, Billy. That's a terrible shot. Oh, oh, it's doing some squirrely things. It's a perfect shot. I never had any doubt at all. All right, when are you going to blow up? Oh, it's going to blow up like right here. Oh, 
what do we do? All right, let's fire, fire another one. Fire another one, Jerry. You get a fire this time, Jerry. Just do your job or I'll throw you off. And feed you to Davy Jones's locker. Come on now. Oh, he's skipping. What if we could skip it and just like pew? <laughs> ha ha! What would be cool though is like, in two dimensions, you're you're sort of limited, right? Um, what I would love to see is like I could actually target like midships, maybe. Like with with ah, well, let's try it. Right? No, I just get to fire the torpedo at all, and it just hits whatever it first encounters. Oop, oop. Just do that thing. Do that thing, mommy. Make it work. Stop locking torpedo. Nope. Now will it blow up underneath it? Huh. It will not, sir. Sir, it will not do that thing that you wanted to do. What if I, what if I, sh what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I did that? Will it, will, it, did I just set the range at which this thing will explode? For science? How many torpedoes do I have? Am I out? Will they all blow up at that same distance? No. Uh, hmm. All right. Time to sink it. Jerry, old boy, are we out of torpedoes? No, we're reloading them. Now, do we see the reload animations in progress? That would be next level. Now, is that beta? Full release? Is it even on the menu? Skip torpedoes? The old porpoise technique. They won't shoot it because they're very conservative by nature when it comes to organisms. They don't want to kill them. Oh, that's not a torpedo. That, my good friend, is a porpoise. We can't kill it. It's illegal. The Geneva Convention, according to Sun Tzu, it forbades the killing of porpoises. However, it has created a very interesting situation whereby enemy navies. Okay, that's interesting. Are dressing up as porpoises. Can I sink this thing with torpedoes yet? All right, we are going to close the distance and fire the rapid depth charges. Fire them. I, I don't know if we can hit an, an enemy ship with depth charges, but we're gonna find out. You better believe we're gonna find out. All ahead full, gentlemen, all ahead full. Flank speed. Throw all the potatoes in the boilers, you know, just for extra oomph. Uh, by the way, potato rations will be cut. God, that's so cool. Yeah, we need sound effects. We need... Now, I guess it does make sense that they're underwater, but then you see, like, the ripple, at least in all the movies, right? That's interesting. So it seems they explode at different depths. And now what we're doing is, yes, we could have fired the guns, Billy. We could have done it. But we don't want to. Wow, three guns in the rear, two in the front. Where the hood, where the hood at? I'm gonna fire a torpedo. And then we're getting closer to where I could be able to hit them. See, is that sinking? I, I, I'm shocked. Oh, oh, they, is it taking on water? Watch that red line. All right, does it get all the way there? Does some of these, yeah, some of those are definitely gonna hit it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's dope. I don't think these were supposed to be like, used in that manner, which is why we did it. It's a simulator, you get a, oh yeah, we're singing this thing. I'm pretty sure like eighth torpedo in the front finally destroyed. So torpedoes wouldn't be very effective. I don't think, what we need is this game to be like 3D. Should I do it? Should I do it? Pew! Fire the torpedo, now we're gonna hit up top where there's not as much armor, or there shouldn't be. All right, you know what? You've been around long enough, Billy. It's time to get shriggity shriggity shrek, son. Can I fire? The secondaries, no. Uh, the rear guns don't aim forward. Rapid fire depth charges. Rapid fire depth charges. Gentlemen, you may fire when ready. Torpedoes too. Oh, uh, we're not done yet. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the torpedo hit the superstructure. So I'm a big fan of this game. Do you guys want to see more? Cause I know I want to play more. Now, here's the other question, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the jury. The editor, what kind of ship? Their ship precepts. Right, we're gonna just create new. The name? I have no idea what I'm doing. Only use alphanumeric cases. Fine. And this will be, we got aircraft, battleship, submarine, auxiliary. We are going to call this. What's that white box? Oh. Slow submersible vessel equipped with, ooh. Panel limit, drain capacity, torpedo reload bonus. Ooh. We're not good at shooting. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's do it. Use outer plate and keep water out. Okay. This is gonna be the next episode, guys. I'm gonna build the dumbest submarine you've ever seen. We're gonna have to save it, probably. Railing, porthole rows, armaments, engines. We, we definitely need all that stuff. Oh my God. All right, guys, so if, whoa. Could we build the biggest ship ever invented? Probably. Anyway, if you guys do wanna see more ships at war, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I will see you in the next one, where we're probably gonna figure this out. Thanks for watching.